Aleluya, aleluya. Welcome to Powerhouse Hour, Soaking Room Experience. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We are grateful you choose to spend this hour with us. We know that there are many fellowships on the internet that you could have chosen, so we are thankful for you. Our vision is to create a Holy Spirit, a field worship atmosphere that is unconventional, not traditional, where we share the love of Christ to win souls for Jesus. We gather virtually every Sunday between 3 and 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. We are alive today to worship him, to worship God. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Amen. As we spend this hour together, we pray the Lord will meet you in a tangible way. Wherever you are, whether you are home, at school, in a hospital, at work, in prison, in a shelter, in a plane, a train, or a car. Allow King Jesus today to come in, to invade your personal space. Allow him to minister to you personally, to touch your heart and speak directly to you. Amen. Please follow us on social media. Share and subscribe to our Facebook page and YouTube channel via Powerhouse Hour slash Soaking Room Experience. You you can also find our broadcast a replays on channel49tv.com. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jeremiah 23, 5, it says, For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. He will be a king who rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. And in Luke 19.38, it says, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in highest heaven. Amen. Hosanna in the highest let our king be lifted high. Hosanna. Hosanna. In the high. high yeah. Let our King be lifted high. Hosanna, be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher today. Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher in our lives, higher, be lifted higher. Today, Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Thank you, Lord. Majesty, worship his majesty. Unto Jesus be your glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, 
kingdom authority flow from his throne onto his own his anthem reigns so exalt lift him on high the name of jesus magnify come glorify jesus the king majesty Worship his majesty, he, Jesus who died, now glorify, King of all kings, Jesus who died, now glorify, King of all kings. Hallelujah. Yes, he is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. Amen. In Zechariah 9, 9, it says, Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious. Yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding riding on a donkey's cord, amen? And in Matthew 21, 9, he says, Jesus was in the center of the procession and the people all around him were shouting, praise God for the son of David, blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord, praise God in highest heaven, amen, amen. This next song is called The King is Coming. Amen. Hallelujah. He's coming for you. He's coming for me. Hallelujah. I pray that you will open your heart to him and allow him to come to the secret places of your life today. Amen. The marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the streets. All the builders, tools are silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewives cease the labors. In the courtroom, no debate. Work on earth is all suspended as the king comes through the gate. The king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. The king is coming. The king is coming. Praise God, he is coming for me. Happy faces line the hallways. Those whose lives have been redeemed. Broken homes that he has mended. Those from prison he has freed. Little children and the aged, hand in hand, send Lord a glow. Who were crippled, Broken ruin, clad in garments, white as snow. The king is coming, the king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. The king is coming. The King is coming. Praise God, 
He is coming for me and you. I can hear the chariots rumble. I can see the marching throng. The flurry of God's trumpet spells the end of sin and wrong. Regorous are now unfolding. Heaven's grandstands all in place. Heaven's choir now assembled, start to sing amazing grace. The King is coming, the King is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding, and now his face I see. The King is coming to us, the King is coming, praise God. He is coming for us. Praise God. He is coming for us. Oh, friends, I don't know what are your difficulties today. I don't know the challenges, the problems that you are facing. But wherever you are, just say, King Jesus, come into this situation. Just say, King Jesus, come in this problem. Come in this health issues. Come in this financial problem I'm having. Come in this marriage that seems to crumble. Just say, Lord Jesus, come. That's all you have to say. Hallelujah. Just say, Jesus, come. Hallelujah. And he will show up. Hallelujah. For he is the God of the impossible. When we call his name, he always answers. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And in Isaiah 32, to one, he says, look, a righteous king is coming, that's Jesus, and honest princes will rule under him, that's you and that's me, hallelujah, and in Jude 1, 14, he says, now Enoch, the servant from Adam, prophesies about this man also saying, behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his sins. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for coming in the situations of my brothers and sisters today. Thank you, Lord. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king soon and very soon we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we are going to see the king no more crying there we are going to see the king no more crying there we are going to see the king thank you lord no more crying there we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah we are going to see the king hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, friends, I don't know what is keeping you at night. I don't know what is causing you to cry, but the Lord is wiping away your tears right now. The Lord is giving you reasons to rejoice. The Lord is giving you reasons to love. Hallelujah. For he is your victory. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how 
big your situation is. He is bigger than your problem. He is the God that opened the eyes of the blind. He is the God that opened the ears of the deaf. He is the God that called the dead back to life. Whatever your issue is this day, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, open the gates of your life. Open the gates of your heart and let him begin to change and transform you to the best version of yourself in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Soon and very soon we are going to see the king. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon our king is coming back. Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we want to use this time, you know, to declare that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God, Lord Jesus Christ, according to his word in Revelation 11, verse 15. Then the angel seventh angel blew his trumpet and there were loud voices shouting in the heaven the world has now become the kingdom of our lord and his christ and he will reign forever and ever hallelujah thank you lord jesus the kingdom of this world is becoming the kingdom of our god it does not matter what is going on around the world it does not matter what is going on in africa right now it does not matter what is going on in the middle east it does not matter what is going on in south america or north america it does not matter what is going on in asia we are declaring today that the kingdom of this world is becoming the kingdom of our God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13. This is what is popularly known as the Lord's prayer. He says, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. We're declaring that the will of our God will be done on this earth as it is done in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, for thy is the kingdom, the power, and the their glory forever and ever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to declare, we want to pray for God's kingdom to first come in our own personal life, in our own individual life. We want to declare that the glory of God come into our own household. We want to pray with Matthew 6 verse 33 that says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. We pray this day that God will ignite the fire in our personal life that God will ignite the fire in our household. Let salvation start from our own household in the mighty name of Jesus. Joshua say, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're declaring this day that salvation will start from our household in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Psalm 27 verse eight says, David called out to the Lord when you said, seek my face. And he says, my heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I shall seek. We pray, we want to pray that God will grant us the grace to be able to seek his face day and night in the mighty name of Jesus, that our local church, our community, our, our society, we seek the face of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, that the body of, of, of Christ, the church, we encounter the life-shaping presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus, that our entire community, starting from our local church into the society, into the community, we encounter the transforming power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name 
name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are declaring that the kingdom of this world is becoming the kingdom of our Father. The kingdom of this world is becoming the kingdom of our Father. Hallelujah. Second Chronicle chapter 7, verse 14, read. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land in the mighty name of Jesus. We're declaring that God Almighty will heal our hand, our land. Our land is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. The land of this heart is healed by the power in the blood of Jesus. We declare that God will forgive, that the grace and the mercy of the Lord shall be sufficient for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that God is willing and able to heal, to hear us, to forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. He will heal our nation. We pray that our national leaders will see the need for Jesus and they will draw close to him with a soft heart in the name of Jesus. The Bible said the heart of kings are in God's hand and like water, it can turn into whichever way that it wants. We pray that they will humble themselves, that our leaders will humble themselves. Oh, that they will rule with righteousness. They will rule with the powerful presence of God in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to pray for the president and the leaders of all nations that they will rule in the fear of God, that they will be surrounded by godly counsel, and that every counsel that is not of God will be turned into the counsel of Aitofe in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to pray that the heart of men and women in authority will be captured by the, by the Lord, that God will turn their heart unto himself, that they will operate in unity around what is true and what is good in the name name of Jesus, that our leaders will promote righteousness. Ah, they will promote holiness in the mighty name of Jesus. They will create laws and rules and regulations that will protect the weak, that will protect the needy, that will bring encouragement to the people of the world, that will bring encouragement to the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that our government will have compassion towards the people and attend to injustice. They will attend to healthcare issues. They will attend to the things that matters to the people. They will attend to the pandemic that is raving all the nations of the earth. They will attend to all the issues that are facing the nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that the glory of God will rule on this hand. We declare that the, the, the government of this world is becoming the government of our of our God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. We pray and we call for the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of godliness, prosperity, peace all over the world. We call upon love into the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and we tear down every veil of sorcery and divination. Oh, every enchantment covering the nations of the world. We ask that the gate of all nations will open, that the king of glory will come in. And who is this king of glory? The Lord that is strong and mighty. He is the king of glory. The Lord will come to the nation. The Lord will show his mercy. The Lord will give salvation into the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to decree and declare to our families. We want to pray that the peace of God will be upon our children, the children of the, of, of the world, the children of the universe, that God will draw them unto himself, that they will be attentive to the things of God, that they will not sit in the council of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that parents shall raise their children in the admonition of the Lord, that God through the move of his Holy Spirit, oh, will preserve marriages 
We heal family bond. We expose and cancel every evil plot in the mighty name of Jesus. And prayer altars shall be established in every household. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we love you. Father, we want to praise you. We declare according to your word in Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, yes. Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, yes. hallelujah, yes. the judge of the whole universe, our yes. protector, yes. our rock of faith, yes. our shield and buckler, the yes. merciful God, the gracious yes. God, the God that created the universe by his own fingers, yes. hallelujah, our faithful yes. God, the giver of all good yes. things, the victorious yes. one, the God of holiness, yes. the consuming yes. Father, yes. hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are our defender. You are our comforter. You are the Trinity Council of the head. The God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We magnify your name, O Lord. We exalt you. We lift you high above every other name in heaven and on earth. And we declare that the kingdom of this world is becoming the kingdom of our Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You are our King of Kings. You are my Lord of Law. You are the fountain of my joy. You are my living water. You are the you are my source and my resource. Yes, you are Lord. my battle house. Yes. You are my best friend. Hallelujah. Above all, you are my rest. Yes, you are Lord. the God that has the track mm. record of keeping your word in my life. Yes, you Lord are my Jesus. righteousness and my redeemer. You are my bright and morning star. You are my rose of Sharon. You are my physician and my purifier. You are my master and my game changer. You are my best friend. You are my defender. You are my first. Choice. You are my teacher, the hope of my glory. You are my sustainer, my supplier, my strength. We thank you because you are my shield and you are my buckler. You are my ageless and the endless. You are the precious that God. You are greater than the compassionate. You are the one that sanctifies my soul. You are my God and you are my time. You are the I am that I am. You are the woman that has called me by your name. You have called me by my name. Thank you, Father, for the relationship. You are my rock that I stand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you because you are a good God. You are my Lord. You are my mountain mover. You are the Lord that backs me that I'm not back up. You are the one that gives me from two chores. You are my ancient of days. You are my healer. You are my provider, you are your, your words, and your are yeah, and you are amen. You are the prayer to us, you are my invisible God, you are the rock of ages. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, my Redeemer. I worship you, my rock, my fortress, my strong tower, my Redeemer, my healer, my comforter, my helper. Yes. I give you praise, yes. my, my strong tower, Thank my you. rock, Thank my you. house of defense, yes. my, my coming king, yes. my, 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 my almighty God, my yes. all is all. Yes. I worship you, blessed yes. Trinity, God the Father, yes. God the Son. Yes. Yes, the Holy Spirit. Yes, I worship you. I declare that I love you. Yes, Lord. You are a God of love. 
Hallelujah. God of compassion. Yes. yes. Oh, Eyes Jesus. are full of fire. Amen. Are the consuming God. Yes. You ride on the wing of wings. Yes. Yes. You dwell in unapproachable life. Hallelujah. You are holy. Yes. You are righteous. Yes. You are a just God. Yes. God. You are a faithful God. Thank you, Lord. You are a loving God. Yes. You show us compassion. Yes, Lord. What is man that you are mindful of us? Yes, Lord. What is the son of man that you care for us? Yes. We are grateful unto you, Almighty God. Yes. Thank you for the human race. Yes. Thank you for our existence. It is because you exist that's why we exist. We thank you, sweet spirit of God. Because of our Father, we thank you. The one who loves us, we thank you. The one who cares about us, our strong tower, our refuge. The one who fights our battle for us. Our Redeemer, our Savior. Yes, our Lord, thank you, Father. We give you praise. Thank you, we worship you. Yes. You are worthy. Yes, you are Lord. worthy. Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Oh God, you are the creator, oh God, and the maker of order, oh God. You are the forgiven God and the giver of all, oh God. You are the sustainer and the judge and the just, oh God. You are a magnificent God. You are the highest, oh God. You are the greatest and the mighty, oh God. Oh God, you are the watchman. The loving one, oh God, and the majestic one, oh God. You are the witness, God. You are the truth, oh God. You are the all-powerful one, oh God. The great creator of good, oh God. And you are the light, oh God. You are the creator of all power, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Everlasting yes. one, oh God. Yes. You are the stiller of a storm, oh God. Yes. You are the finisher, yes. oh God. Yes. Oh God, we thank you, God. That you are an awesome God. Yes, Hallelujah. In a day, oh God. Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are our soon coming king. Yes. You are our bridegroom. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God of Moses, you called my red sheep. Thank you, Lord. God of Joshua, you caused my walls to fall down. God of Lazarus, you resurrect everything that is dead in me. May God so for you are the one who my You are my vindicator, you are my judge, my lawyer, you are my defender, you are my holy soul, you are my purpose, my plan A, my plan B, my plan C, you are the rock, you are the God who has helped me so far, my enemies are, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Matthew, you are the father to the fatherless. You are the one who brings order to my chaos. You are my wall of fire, my vital cry, my victory shot, my chauffeur sound. You are my peace in the middle of the storm. You are my king, my prophet, my high priest. You are the air that I breathe, my rest, my Sabbath. You are my manna from from heaven falling down every morning. You are the leader of his head, my savior, my shiver, and friend. You are the one who created the world, you are the one who creates the double for every trouble, the victorious one, the one who fight my battle, and never lose any of them. I will worship you, I exalt you, I so praise you. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, you are King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. Yes. Your robe is light and you rode, you ride on the wings of my praise, mighty Jehovah. Yes. You spoke today into existence, Almighty God, yes. and we are here breathing yes. your head in our mouths. Yes. You have provided the plans of death yes. and spoke our life, Almighty God, into existence. Yes. We breathe the yes. air that you give, Almighty Jehovah. You are my yes. peace, you are my joy. You are my strength. Oh Lord, join the 24 elders to cry, have a father. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord Almighty. The heaven worships, Almighty God. We on earth will bow down, Almighty God, we worship you. You are lifted up above every other. You are my victor, oh my God, and my defender. You are my defender, my hope, and my strong power. Father, you are the consuming fire, the sweet perfume. You are exalted and for every other God Almighty God, you are unshakable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are, mighty Jehovah. You are God alone. Before time began, you were God alone. And you're still seated upon your throne, Almighty Jehovah. Oh, Father, you do not need man to be God in my life. I give you praise and I give you honor. Hallelujah to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Um, hello, well, friends. Uh, welcome to this section where we um call our brothers and our sisters to, to the altar. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to be here and being able to share of the goodness and mercy of God with you this afternoon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have known the Father's care for me. He's been good, he's been good. Through it all, he's always there for me. God's been good to me, to the stars, to the night, come what may, everything's gonna be all right. I have known the Father's care for me, God's been good to me. I don't know about you, but this is my testimony of this God that we are here serving, of this God that we are here on his behalf talking to you this afternoon. I have known the Father's care for me. God's been good. He's been good. Through it all, he's always there for me. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. Through the stars, through the night, come what may, everything's gonna be all right. I have known the Father's care for me. God's been good to me. Isn't it wonderful to know that regardless of the situation and circumstances, in the storms of life, that this God is there and he is good to us. Whether we're faithful or unfaithful, he remains good. So when I was preparing for this message, I was supposed to prepare right down what I wanted to say. And it dropped on my heart to just speak to you for my heart, for my experience of who God is in my life and how I came to know this God. You know, and the angle I want to look at it is how God can use ordinary people like me and everyone on this line to reach out to our brothers and our sisters. We're not pastors, 
We're not ordained ministers. We don't even know how to sing, right? But we have experienced the compassionate and unchanging nature of God. And that's why we're able to be here, to be able to share of his goodness, of who we know him, because we've tasted of him, right? We've tasted of his mercy and his grace. So who's best to proclaim the goodness of God? Who's best to bring the gift of salvation unto you, except us, ordinary people like you and I? So going up, going up, we were raised in a Christian home. We attended Sunday school. We were taught the importance of righteous living. And we served, we gave. All of those good things that is expected of a Christian, of Christians, we did them. We did them. But one thing was missing that we didn't even know was missing. It was the relationship with Christ. It was missing. So it's not that it was completely missing. People were out there. We had a, an organization called, uh, we call them SU, Scripture Union, a society. They brought the good news to us. But the way I saw the good news then, it came in a religious kind of ash, kind of forceful manner. So most of us as youth, we didn't pay attention. We didn't take them like, if this is how I'm supposed to look, because there was a way that, you know, they, 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 they looked kind of, and my thing is, if I was, if this is that way I'm supposed to look, if I'm supposed to be timid, passive, then I don't want to, I don't want that kind of a life. I'm a Christian, but I don't have to be, to go that length, to be a Christian. It wasn't until I reached the UK at the age of 20, right? It wasn't until that, that I started to learn about how to be in relationship with Christ. And even after that, I still went my own ways, like many of us we do, I still went my own ways. The difference at that point was that I have the confidence that I could go back to him whenever, I could have the confidence to go back to him, ask for forgiveness of sin, cleanse myself. And it's like, like a prodigal child. He was willing, waiting a father to receive me back. You know, the Bible says in John 8, 32, he said, you shall know the truth and the truth that you know is set you free. By the time I knew the truth, I was, a free, I was a free being. I was free to serve without worrying about how my hair looked, without worrying about how my dress is, without worrying. I knew that it looked into my heart. And this is the reason why we are here right now, to share the truth. And I give you an opportunity for you and anyone who was where I was, a religious life. You know, day in, day out. We have like an informed information, informed knowledge, because if you have an informed knowledge, then you can make the choice. It's not a coercion, it's not, it's a choice. No manipulation, no control, nothing. But understanding of who Christ is, and then you can make the choice. And that's one thing God will not do for you, make the choice for you. So, we want to give the same opportunity that I didn't have like that when I was growing up, which eventually came to me, thank God for his saving grace. So let me quickly introduce this man that we're talking about, that we need to have a relationship. He said, God is a God of relationship. And many years ago, they say he will come down to Adam and Eve in the cool of the evening. He will fellowship with them, talk to them. He had relationship with them. But sin came in. And when sin came in, there was a separation between him and them. And they were even hiding in the garden from him because they knew they had done wrong. But God is a God of relationship. And he loved to have relationship with his children. So he sent down his only begotten son 
as we are told in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Not many parents or even fathers can do that. One that looked like us, that talked like us, that acted like us, but then one that felt the emotions that we feel. And he, 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 he came, he died, he, was, he went back to heaven and he seated right at, at the right hand of God the Father right now as our advocate can you imagine so whenever i mess up he can say father forgive her father this is what she's going through father he, he is our advocate each time we mess up he can talk on our behalf he is the one that turned my mess into a message you know i had someone i was talking to a sister yesterday that somebody actually called me a chronic single parent <laughs> and and most people, because you're single, they look at you. They expect your children to be messed up. They expect your children to be statistic. They expect your children to be lower, you know, not where they need to be. But because I came to know a father who, when I was, they were growing up, I introduced them to him as their grandfather. To the glory of God, these children that were supposed to be a mess, and now the ones that are statistics, they're not statistics, they are now standard for others to, to, you know, to be a pointer to say, these are good children. We're not promoting single parenting, they were just saying that when you have a life that people see as a mess or a life that people don't see as right, but when you come to know Christ, you can turn that mess into a message. That is God. We're introducing to you. Hallelujah. Three in the morning, and I'm still awake. I pick up a pen and a page, and I started writing just what I'll say. If we're face to face, I'll tell you. Just what you mean to me, tell you this simple truth. Be strong in the Lord, never give up all. You're gonna do great things, I already know. God does hands on you, don't give up in life. Forgive and forget, but don't forget why you're here. Take your time and pray. These are the words I will say. Take your time and pray. These are the words I will say. Last time we spoke, you said you were hurting, and I felt your pain in my heart. I want to tell you, just keep on praying. Lord, we find you where you are. I know, cause I've already been there. So please hear this simple truth. Be strong in the Lord, never give up hope. You gonna do great things. I already know, cause God's hands on you. Don't give up in life. Forgive and forget, but don't forget why you here. Take your time and praise. These are the words I will say for one simple life to another. I will say, come find peace in the Father. Hallelujah. Come find peace in the Father. If this is you, then you need the peace of God. And you, your message to be turned into a, your mess to be turned into a message. Please say these words after me or with me. Lord Jesus, I'm tired of religion. I'm tired, Almighty God, of moving just with emotion. I want to taste of you. I want to know you more than ever before. I want a relationship with you. I choose to leave my past life behind. And I choose to live a new one in you and with you. Forgive my past sins. Cleanse me and wash me 
in your blood and sanctify my life. Please write my name in the book of life and grant me a place with you in eternity. All this I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have said these words with me, welcome to the new life in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and all things have become new for you. Please find a Bible believing church or you can reach out to us at PHH. We can help navigate this new journey with you. Our email is I help to inspire at gmail.com. I help the, le- the number two, I help the number two, inspire at gmail.com. Welcome to the household of faith. The heaven rejoices over you. We here at PHH will rejoice with you. That the journey ahead of you is a new one. Your past old pain, regrets, guilt, whatever it may be, no matter how far you may have gone, your past, because all things are passed away and all things have become new. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an awesome way to come unto our Lord. That's a life story, my brothers and sisters. I want to thank you today for stopping over again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations. I say welcome to your father's house. You have made the best decision of your life. This is where you ought to be, to be refreshed and strengthened. Amen. Amen. We know you. We know <clears throat> everyone is rejoicing with you. And we here at PHH, we are congratulating you and we are rejoicing with you as well. Hallelujah. We know you have been blessed today. I want to say thank you, Lord, for the grace and mercies. We want to thank you, Lord, for the soul that have been restored. We want to, we know that as many that are listening now and those that will come after these brokers, their lives with your their life almost will not remain the same. Your glory will manifest in their lives in the name of Jesus. We want to say thank you for being awesome in our midst. You are a good God. Has not been awesome? He has been so awesome. He has been so good in our midst. Amen. Each and every one of us can testify of his awesomeness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. As I come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we stand face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, and say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy of our prayers. To you, our lives we reign. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, our Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you, our life we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. As I come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we start the face to face. I look upon your countenance, 
I see the fullness of your grace. I can always bow down and sing and sing. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we reign. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. You have been awesome in our midst. Thank you, Father, for the souls that this world we're touching today. We know these souls, they are saved and they are protected in your hands. We have come to the conclusion of our broadcast. We say thank you for joining us. We hope you have been blessed. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Do have a wonderful week. God bless you. We know you've been blessed. So please, God bless you and God keep you. The God make the face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. You'll be awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you, our life we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Thank you for joining us today. We love you. We hope to see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Oh, he is awesome. He is awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you.